Hi guys, welcome back to the Motorsport Manager GT Custom DLC playthrough thingy me jig. We are in Doha. Now, this is a race we should be doing better in. Um, we are going to go with Vosu to get the feedback. He is better at the feedback. We'll also get half his pay. Um, he is a paid driver, so I think we get an extra 120 grand for using him just in the qualifying. The feedback, obviously, in Vivani is lower. Um, let's have a look at this track. I feel like we want a few more in the low speeds and a bit more in the acceleration, maybe a bit in the oversteer. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Forecast is dry as Qatar. Of course it's going to be fucking dry. So he's ready to rumble. Let's have a look at Vosu. Now, Vosu is not happy with us, by the way. Um, not by a long shot. So let's have a look at this. We're going to go that way, see how that feels for him. And there we go, let's take the practice. Uh, send you out. Get you on a race trim. You are on race trim, that's fine. We're going to give you eight laps worth of fuel. Because you are going to gun it. It's got ten laps worth of fuel, that's not what I said. Race trim, eight laps worth of fuel. Gun it. So we're going to speed this up. We're going to keep an eye on Elgle Hart. Oh dear God. Oh, I've still got that bit of a cold. Bear in mind, guys, from season one up into... Well, from episode one, season one, up to this particular episode, I have done this over the course of three days. That's how much I've been playing this game. I am absolutely fucking adoring this game. Um, yeah, the gearing's dodgy, mate. We'll get you in, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely adoring this game. So this cold, it sounds like I've had it for a long time. If it is a cold, that is. Um, I haven't. It's just... <laughs> it's just... I've got it all over a short period of time. I've done this all over a short period of time. Um, it's just... I sit down. I want to play this game. I want to carry on with Blue Ball GT. And it's like, well, if I don't record it and people want to watch it, then they'll miss out stuff. So I'm having to record it while I'm doing it just so I can play it. Um, I think we've gone too short on the gears there. Possibly. Let's go up to there. Let's get the steering to here, I guess. Let's try that. That's really, <laughs> I don't really care at this point. I just want to get on with the end of the season. I want to make sure we get through. All I want to do is get to the end of the season. Fingers crossed we survive it financially. And we can just start off on a better footing. So NATO has got the fastest lap here. Interesting. I'm assuming that well I know we know who's got the faster car. But I'm assuming that we're not quite right with our setup. Good, good, excellent. Yeah, we're not quite right on our setup, are we? We're gonna stay on the race trim and on the softs. This car setup then, where do we go? Do we go a bit more into oversteer? Let's try a bit more on oversteer. Corners aren't quite where we want them to be, I can imagine. Move it a little bit further forward. And... That's not quite right, is it, on the speed balance? Nope. Screw it, we'll do that. We have been over with the exclamation mark before, and it's been right. So we're going to go over that. Have a look. So how is Vosu feeling? How are you feeling, mate? Are you happy? Uh, you're not higher. And again, you wouldn't be. <laughs> You've been fucking demoted. Um... Okay, we'll bring both drivers in. Neither of them are happy. Level 2 on the race trim. We're not going to get qualifying trim in this one, unfortunately. So. Let's have a look at this. So, cornering wants to go the other way. I 
to there maybe. Handling can sit where it is now. About that, I guess. Sir, good there, good there, excellent. Is that right? We'll give that one a bash, shall we? Stay on the same size. Let's have a look at Versus. So we've got great and excellent. Let's just get these corners right. Um. Okay, and poor. So we want to go the other way with his cornering. Is that right? Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try that. Let's give it a bit more. We'll try that one. This may get us excellent there. You never know. Um, yeah, carry on the rest of it. So, let's get you guys out. Fuck the hell off. Let's get me my level 3. Get me my level 3 soft tyres and race trim. So, this is 29 laps. How many laps do we get out of these tyres? How long are these laps? 1 minute 42 on each lap. So, Engelhart may be able to... Uh, Engelhart's not going to be able to get another lap in. He's happy with his corning. That's good. Weight distribution's better. That's good as well. So, we're looking a lot nicer. Should get to our level 3. We're not going to get anything else out of this. Not going to get qualifying trim. A little bit disappointing, but... Eh. There we go. So we'll get another flying app out for Engelhart so we can have a look at him properly. Vosu as well is going to get a flying lap out. He is in 20th. He's languishing down in 20th. Um, that's partly going to be down to his tyre wear, I should imagine. It is only practice, though, so it doesn't really matter about it. Just sorry, I, I, sorry I went quiet there. I was just reading on here, just having a look. So, Engelhart is coming round. I've got Vosu is just about to finish up. Vosu, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that car. Why it's so far behind. Doesn't bode well. These guys are usually first and second up here, aren't they? I wonder if it's to do with his morale. Oh well, let's have a look. Engelhart was happy. OMG levels of engineering, apparently. So, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. So this is a 29 lap race, isn't it, for Embrotti? So the handling's gone down here. I'm sure we had... No, handling's okay. Um, can we get it to excellent? No, that is the question. Yeah, we'll try that. Let's sit on the soft. So I said I think it's 29, so we're going to get 9 to 11 laps out of that. So if we get a soft, a medium, and then a soft, and then we'll do a medium, soft, soft, I think... This cornering is not quite there, is it? So, should we go even further away? Push it even lower? Should we try it? That might get us excellent. That might get us great. We'll try that. Stick on the tyres still. You only get 7 to 9 laps. It's just so terrible with its smoothness. Maybe this is the wrong time to be looking at uh, future talent. Maybe we should have just, instead of getting him, maybe we should have just looked for talent that we can use straight off. Who knows? Going straight into auto, I'm not going to fuck around like I did in Phoenix. We fucked it up in Phoenix, then I <laughs> massively. Um, so these guys first out. We, we tend to be first out. We don't like to fuck around. We get our settings sorted out straight away. Overheated, overheated at the minute for both drivers. And overheated, good, and overheated, cold. Not good, not good. So I'm expecting sort of 13th, 14th, maybe. I think actually with Vivani it's going to be 19th, 20th. Uh, Engelhart, 13th, 14th. I'm not expecting much out of this at all. I've, I've, 
<laughs> I think me fucking up the finances has fucked up the team altogether. Um, who knows? Who knows? Odin's just smashing it as per usual. That's 141. That is not a good speed for this at all. Engelhart's still ahead of Sorn in them, which is good to see. And even my fucking hell. Minza. So it's, we're only faster than. Well, Engelhart's only faster than two guys. Um, if you don't include Vivani. Vivani's knocking down on the, uh, the Steffings. Mulatto and Farah are slower than Vivani. Engelhart not looking good. We do get excellent on the cornering and on top speed. It's just getting that handling right. So I feel like... Let's go back to that real quick. So can we... Do that. Is that enough of a change? We've got great, great, excellent. That's what we wanted there. I'm going to stay on those same tyres. You can head straight back out for Varney. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I just want this season to be over. It's not been a good season. Three crashes this season. So far. Um, and that has kind of ruined our standings in the uh, table. And obviously if we don't finish um, sixth, we will get fired. So, uh, overheated good for both drivers. Engelhart currently going to go through to Q2. Doesn't look promising for Q1 though. Uh, Vivani's probably going to end up going out here. It looks like he's in 18th. And we are the only two remaining on the track for Q1, so please, something good. Vivani is looking slower. So is Engelhardt. They're both looking slower. So this is not going to be promising. Yeah, Vivani 17th. Engelhardt 14th. Not good. Not good. But Vivani improving on last uh, qualifying. In Phoenix, I think he finished 19th. Any big names? Not really. So let's take the qualifying. Doha on a Saturday so excellent great excellent we're not going to mess around with it anymore too much messing around so let's get auto on again let's get it sped up qualifying is getting a little bit boring <laughs> if I'm honest um, because it's the same old story thing is, I don't want to not take qualifying. Um, I'm sure some of you guys like the qualifying in that. The thing is, if I don't take qualifying, I simulate it. They just use up all the fucking tyres. All of them. They all end up being knackered. Overheat them perfect. Don't know how it's going to look for us. But uh, we'll find out shortly, won't we? So, Olin's about to start a flying lap. So, we're going to get purple, and then we're going to get green on every single sector. Olin's actually just... I don't know what it is with Olin. just so good. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. Yeah, Odin hitting purples across the board. And that is 141, so it's about what we did in Q1. It's not good. Nearly a second behind uh, Olin. Faster than Sorninen. Faster than Nebenmeyer. I think Nebenmeyer was quicker than us in Q1. Um, we all send them out again. Partner's got the fastest slap here. For Christ. So yeah, we are going to send Engelhart out again. We desperately want to stay in the money. Um, at the minute, as it stands, we are going to stay in the money. Um, let's put you out on another set of softs. We're not going to use four sets of softs in the next. So come on, Engelhart. Come on. Get me an improvement. Suero's not far behind you. We need you to go through. We need the money. We desperately need the money. We also need to do well in this next race. Um, it is a race we should do better in. 
really. Um, I say Phoenix is not a race we will do well in. So is that an improvement? I don't know, because it's just his flying lap, wasn't it? Uh, this is his flying lap, even. That was an outlap. This is a flying lap. We do have people racing around still. Uh, Taylor and Swinnenden behind us. We get a faster lap, uh, a faster sector even. That's good to see. Another faster sector. Can we jump up a position or two? Please, please, please. That is a bit better, I think. Still not good enough. 1.127 slower than first place. Swinnenden still on his way around. Swinnenden not quite managing it. So we do go into Q3 and we do have the money. That is good to see. That is good to see. We desperately needed that cash boost. So we are going to go into Q3. Uh, any big names there? Swero out is a uh, well, bit interesting, shall we say. Let's take the qualifying. We don't want to simulate it. We know we're going to finish 10th, but we don't want to use up all our tyres. As it stands, we are using up a lot of tyres. Um, we are locked into these ones. Um, we will take these ones, I believe. Just on the off chance that we need to use more uh, auto. So I don't care where we finish now. We have got our 200,000. Um, for the next race, I think we get a new sponsor, or is it the race after that? We soon get a new sponsor, so hopefully we'll get a nice one with a big upfront chunk of payment to ease our financial woes. And that's what they are, our financial woes. Um, come on, mate. Decent flying lap. Come on. To be fair, I say financially, we're, we're all right now. I say we're all right now. Financially, we're... Um, keeping back the administrators <laughs> just they're peering down the road looking can we strip asset strip can we asset strip yet can we asset strip you yet no mate no you can't we're just about clinging on to dear life so 141 529 that's actually a slower lap for us it's a much slower lap for us <laughs> we're just massively getting shunted down but I'm not expecting anything else we don't have the best car. Don't really have the best drivers. So let's slow this down a little bit. See if we can improve on that, shall we? Do we go for it? We're gonna go. For, we're gonna go for something. We're gonna go risky. We're gonna go risky. So we know we've got excellent and great. Let's try. See if we can get an excellent across the board. Will that do it? We'll try. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll stay on the same tyres. If we can get free excellence, that's going to help us coming into the final race. Now, if they get this sorted out quick enough, we should be able to get just about in time for a flying lap. It'll probably be about five seconds in it. It's going to be nail-biting stuff. We'll have a look, though. Fingers crossed we can. Now, I don't know how it's looking on the video. According to my... Look, I'm looking at the recording on my second screen, and it looks a bit choppy. Um, hopefully it isn't. The computer has been on overnight, uploading all of the videos I've done. Uh, it's not going to be cheap doing that, but oh well. Anyway, let's have a look, see what's going on here. Do we get a faster first sector? Uh, no, we get a slower first sector. Maybe I fucked the car up. Um, what about a second sector? Do we get a faster second sector? Nope, nope. I fucked the car in the arse, basically. And that is worse by a long way. So we are going to start 10th on the grid with Vosu. Vosu? Um... Oh, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. Oh, young Argentinian. I can't remember his name. He's going to be 18th, I believe. So, yeah, Engelhart in 10th. And, oh, what's his name? Efrain Vivani. There we go. In 18th. Yeah. We need, to, we need a good race. So, if we can get 10th, that's going to help us. Um, 
Let's have a quick look at this car set up. That's good. I don't know what that noise was, by the way. Now, we will take the soft tyres. Not really much else going to happen here. Um, we're locked in. We are locked in on these tyres. So, how many laps do we get out of these tyres? Six to eight. That is not great, is it? I'm going to go with ten laps of fuel. Uh, no, eleven laps of fuel. Um, so if we can get eight out of these, um, that will be twenty-one. Won't it? Uh, let's have a look. I think eight is going to be a push, but so I think yeah, seven to nine. So it should mean that um, Eagle Heart should get ten to twelve out of them. So if we can get eight laps out of those other tyres, yeah, be fine. Be able to do all media, uh, all softs all the way through. Um, we're going to give this guy mediums. What do we get out of those? Eleven to thirteen. So you can have fifteen. Yeah, 15 laps worth of fuel going into it. Um, we are going to go overtaking and we will. Yeah, we'll push for one lap and I'll do my best to remember to change it. Olin Partnan, Vakroisa, Nato, and Holgerson in the top five positions. Usual suspects, usual suspects. Let's bump it up a little bit on the speed. Vivani up into 16th, Engelhart already losing a position down to 10th, but we know the start of this race is always a melee. Uh, Vivani having dropped a position down again already. So, Engelhart's gone down to 10th, Vivani's down into 20th. Uh, in fact, Engelhart's now down into 11th. Why don't you try and cut across that inside line, mate? You know, might, might help you out. Vivani's gained up to 18th again, so he's like a non-mover, shall we say. Uh, up into 17th, unlike Engelhart, keeps dropping positions. He is back up into 10th, and we are going to boost the fuck out of things in a minute. Up into 9th, he's gained a position, he's up into 8th briefly. There we go, give it a tiny little bit of a shunt. Why are you taking that line? Why don't you go on the inside? Retard. Uh, Vivani in 17th, he's in 16th now, and he is enjoying himself. Engelhart just about holding on. Uh, we're going to drop these tyres down to neutral. We're going to keep the fuel going. Yeah, Engelhart's just got overtaken. Disappointing, but these things happen, mate. Vivani up into 13th. Engelhart in 8th. He's going to get overtaken soon. Who is he in head of, head of? He's in front of Giuliani, and Engelhart has fucking crashed. <sighs> Fuck's sake! We're gonna get fired this season. We just we're just gonna get fired. There is no chance we're gonna survive. Uh, Vivani with a nice little maneuver there. I am so fucked off with our drivers. So fucked off. So he's crashed twice this season. Vosu crashed twice this season. And now we're left with a driver who we're trying to train is not good enough to win this race. Oh, good God. That's not good. That is not good. Engelhart was our financial hope. Engelhart has now ruined this team. If Frank just doesn't have the car or the ability to to win, you know, at least tenth position. You see, he's getting he's getting overtaken again. He is in twelfth for now. He's going to get overtaken on the inside there. Yeah, down into thirteenth. Just ah, oh, so disappointing. So disappointing. I, oh, I'm just so I am so angry at this point. We are having no luck whatsoever. So fucking dog shit. Absolute fucking dog shit. All right, so we've gained up to tenth, if only because of pitting. Um, we are going to hold off on pitting just a little bit longer. 
Um, this is going to be a medium tyre race for Vivani. I am not going to take any risks at all. And he's going to end up finishing like 19th. It's just going to be how it is. This is not good enough. It really isn't good enough. I'm just absolutely fucking livid. I really am. We keep losing positions. We keep losing drivers. Keep just... Oh, so fucking shit. So shit. And then he keeps asking me if we... Yeah, mate, seriously. You're not good enough on the tyres for us not to pit. Don't keep asking me about the fucking fuel. Please. Fuck. So we're looking at 47% on our tyre deck. We are seven laps in, what, six laps of fuel remaining. Um, Ireland's setting new fucking record laps as per. Vivani is holding on to, well, he's managed to get himself up to seventh for a very, very brief period of time. Up into sixth for a very brief period of time, back down into seventh. Who is eighth for Kreuzer? Yeah, he's not holding that, is he? We've got a, We've got a pit relatively soon as well. Uh, we're going to go for, uh, I don't know, that's the thing, I want to get another lap, maybe two out. We would need to go for as few pit stops as possible. And I'd like to finish off on softs if we could. Um, the only problem is, at this point, we are losing out on tyre performance. Uh, up into fifth, can we cut in on the inside to get fourth? We can, very, very briefly. Hold on to four. If that was Mincer we just took, overtook. We have Olin Swearer and Nebenmeyer ahead of us. So Vivani's actually doing not bad a job here. He is cheering me up just a tad. The only problem is I know that we haven't pitted yet and everyone else has. Um, I also know that he's got the shittest car and he's probably the worst driver on the grid. Um, yes, mate, we're going to wait till you've got round and then we're going to pit. If you can just hold off uh, Cannon, I'd really appreciate it. So we're up into, f well, we'll say we're up into fourth. We've dropped down into fourth for now. So we've got 20 laps remaining. That's 11 to 13. If we can get 13 laps out of that, we're going to go for 17 laps of fuel. Yeah. Um, go for a fast. Everything else can say the same. So you can push on the tyres. Just give it a little bit of a shunt. Um, see if you can hold off the Chrysler. No, <laughs> as I say, it, he loses his positioning. Who's behind him? Sorninen's behind him. Uh, Sorninen might come into pit relatively soon as well. We are going to lose a lot of in the way of positions here. I think we're going to end up going down the 19th. We're not so bad that we're going to go down to 20th. No, because Egglehart crashed. So pissed off with that still. So Vivani is about to pit. Can't kind of fingers crossed for a good one. We're losing loads of positions here. 18 laps. That's the fuel done. Good on the tyres. We are coming out in 19th. Oh, just pulled ahead of 18th in front of Mincer. So there are two guys who need to pit, but they are much further ahead of us. We're not going to be able to take advantage of the fact they need to pit. Oh, it's so disappointing, it's so disappointing. I'm going to go neutral on the size, we need them to last. I would like to get to lap 21, maybe 22 on these tyres, and then we'll switch into the softs to finish. It's just so disappointing. Alright, now can we get ahead of 17th and 16th? We can. Will we stay ahead of them coming out of the pit, though? So, that's the question just about staying ahead. Um, Vivani's up in the 16th, as you can see. We've still got guys who need to pit. Wilson, Cannon, and Sorden and all need to pit. So does Taylor. Um, they haven't yet pitted. I'm sure they'll probably pit on this lap. We do have Mincer on our tail. Then we're going to try and get ahead of him now, if we can. Did nothing. Did nothing. Uh, there are guys in the pit. Probably not going to get anything out of it. Who is that? That is Cannon. And he's going to come out of the pit ahead of us, as you can see, just pulling ahead. We are going to lose 16th place to Milado any second now.
Come on, Pavani, we need you to sort it out. You need to catch up. You are our only hope at this point. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Cannon setting new fucking fastest times at the minute. We have... Oh, we managed to just about pull back that position. Anyone in the pit? We have got people in the pit. Soylent in the pit. Can we stay ahead of him? We can. 15th is still not good enough, though. We need to catch up on everyone else. Now, our tyre deck is already starting to go down. We know the guy hasn't got any smoothness. Um, he's not a hit with the ladies at all. Young Argentinian, not a hit with the ladies. Okay. Uh, we've lost a position there to Milado. That is really, really disappointing. Milado is not exactly a great driver. Um, it's just the car, really. And we've just lost out another position to uh, Farah. Who was that in the pits then? Wilson's in the pits. We're going to lose some more positions here. And I am, I'm really, really disappointed with how we're performing at the minute. It's, uh, we're going to lose. We're going to lose it out. We're going to end up getting fired at the end of this season. And it's all thanks to these really shitty crashes. I can't believe... I fu they fucking... We've had four crashes this season. Four crashes this one season. Four. It's just not good enough. Not good enough. We're going to lose out 14th position any second now to Sorin and then, and then we're going to lose 16th out to Mincer. And this is just... I, I, I don't want to keep whinging about it because there's nothing worse than hearing someone whinge. But it's just absolutely fucking diabolical that we're getting crashes. I mean, what's this? Race 8? We've had a 50% crash rate. Well, 25% if you think about it, because of the drivers. But still, that is just absolutely fucking diabolical. So instead, I was just... Uh, why? Why, mate? Why? Not happy. I'm not happy. And we keep fucking hemorrhaging positions. Absolutely fucking hemorrhaging positions. We're going to lose another position any second now to Wilson. There we go. Just... Oh... I have no words. I have no words. I'm tempted to just fucking stop commentating and then in post credits put music over the top of it just so I can shut the fuck up. It's... <sighs> so, so bad. I was really enjoying blue ball racing. And I think this is going to be the end of it. I think this is us done. I don't think sixth place is attainable. Chairman's not going to be happy with us. Chairman's already not happy with us. And we're going to lose... Our team, the team's going to fold due to financial constraints. The administrators have started walking down the road at this point. They're rubbing their hands in glee. Oh, don't fucking... Oh, these cunts and their fuel. You're fine, mate. Don't worry about the fuel. I'll worry about the fuel. You worry about keeping your fucking position on the fucking track. So, you're down into 18th, mate. Well done. Because you keep getting on the fucking blower and talking about fuel. Taylor's behind us now as well. Um, so we're going to go down to last place. This is just... Oh, god awful. Oh, right. I want you to attack on those tyres. We're going to pull you in. Yeah, I know, mate. I know. I know. But we're going to pull you in. You're going to come out in the last. And then you're going to go on the softs. Seven to nine. <laughs> no, you're not. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Go push. Oh. 
I really can't believe this has happened. I really can't believe this has happened. Just go soft. Take 11 laps worth of fuel. Or 12 even. Oh, fuck it. Might as well go fast. This is just... Oh, fuck. Engelhart, you fucking cunt. Absolute diabolical piece of fucking dog shit cunt. Cheers, mate. You cost me the job. Cost me my job. It's not good enough. It's just not good enough. So we're going to be going into the pit in 17th. And we're going to be coming out in fucking 19th. And laps by the looks of things. And we are 20 seconds off the fucking pace. So far off the fucking pace. I can't believe this. This is a race we should be doing well in. So we're currently 14th, but like three cars are going to come out ahead of us. Yeah, down into 17th, see. <sighs> Why did I get rid of Vosu? Oh, yeah, because he kept crashing. Hmm. So Farah just ahead of us, Amura just ahead of us. They have got faster cars. The Kreuz has just set a new fastest lap. It's always good to see, yeah. Did have someone in the pit, but they're about to come out of the pit. Oh no, they have gone into the pit. So we're up into 16th, but he's going to get ahead of us again. Look, just oh, this is just absolutely fucking dire. It's absolutely Kieran dire. I just don't know what's happened. I really don't know what's happened to this team. I I actually genuinely lost what I'm having to think of things to say just to fill the void in the silence. I am genuinely lost for words at how bad this is. <sighs> Every time we go past those pits I see Engelhart and I'm just internally I am boiling. I am screaming. I am just absolutely fucking livid with that piece of shit German prick. By the way, Germans aren't pricks, just that one. So pissed off. So, so pissed off. And we're three seconds behind, 16th. Three seconds. There's a big group of fucking cars in front of us. Are we going to get them? No. One person's pitting. It looks like they're going straight through. No, they're not. Looks like they'll come out ahead of us, so yeah, unsurprisingly, there he is. Unreal. I just. Uh, I would just skip this at this point. It's probably going to be a rant at the end of this. I would just skip to the next video, guys, if there's one at this point. Um, there may be. I've been recording so many of these. But I just... Uh, I don't give a flying fuck about your tyres, mate. I really don't. I don't give a flying fuck about your fuel. 
don't give a flying fuck about your tyres. All I want you to do is pull your finger out and for your teammate not to keep fucking crashing. That's all I'm asking. It's a simple thing to ask. You are simple guys, you should know these sort of things. We're four seconds behind 16th. It's just... Oh, oh, fucking hell. How are we so far behind? I don't get... I, mean, I know our car's terrible, but it's not that terrible, is it? I haven't got money to make new parts. Sorry, mate. It's just how it is. You'll get a better, ne you'll get a better engine next season, if that helps. Race status checker flag. Yeah, great. So sixth place is unattainable, and we will be getting fired at the end of this season. On the upside, we'll be doing a new custom team. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to get fired at the end of the season. I can't guarantee it, but we will be doing a new custom team in that case. We'll be going to F1, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll be, I say F1 will be whatever it is, the equivalent of F3, I guess. Um, Olin, unsurprisingly, winning. I don't need to see who won it every time. It's just rubbing it in, isn't it? But yeah, we'll, we'll end up going to a different format. It's just oh, it's so fucking irritating and disappointing. Just unbelievable. Engelhart going down into 10th versus the 16th. Vivani having shit out again. We are 16 points adrift to 6th. And that is our target. We've got two races left to go. That's just... Oh, good God. How are we keeping... How do we keep crashing? Seriously, how do we keep crashing? Englehart crashed twice this season. Sorry about hitting the mic there. Englehart crashed twice this season. Vosu's crashed twice this season. And it's just costing us big time so much, so much is costing us so, so much so his morale's gone down he supposedly he's improved oh dear, we came 10th the happiness of the chairman's 8% we lost 426 grand we've got 184 grand left in the bank and we've got worse money for next year's car. We've got less money for next year's car. This isn't good at all. So let's see what this interviewer wants to do. Uh, go away, go away, accept the interview. Uh, I guess. Oh, Chairman's got zero happiness with us now. But we have increased the happiness of Engelhart. So, next race, as you can see, I'm sounding really ecstatic about it. We are in Rio de Janeiro. If you enjoyed the episode, uh, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment about how annoying it is that our drivers keep crashing. They seem to enjoy it. Me, I try to avoid crashes personally. These guys seem to actively seek them out. Anyway, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.